this is the actual uterus. This is the cervix, which is the opening to the uterus. The fibroids can be um, out here. They can be um, distal or sort of underneath the very surface of the uterus. The, the fibroids that usually cause the most bleeding are either right here under the lining of the inside of the uterus or even within the cavity. Those can really cause a lot of bleeding. They can also cause a lot of cramping sensation because if you can imagine every time you're having a cycle, you're having your menstrual cycle um, around this. We usually start with the least invasive possibility for treating fibroids. And it can be something as simple as either a birth control pill um, to help decrease the intensity of the fibroids. It can be some of the other medications which sort of block some of the hormones. Um, we can send you to radiology for embolization, which is where um, little beads are placed inside of the blood supply of the fibroids and it blocks the blood supply to the fibroids, which causes them to shrink over time. Um, that does not get rid of the fibroids. If you wanted to remove the fibroids, you can either have surgery where we remove the fibroids um, through an incision on the uterus, or if they're in the cavity, you can go through the vagina in an outpatient procedure and remove them from here. Um, if you, all childbearing is complete and the fibroids are large um, and you're having a lot of bulk symptoms, and a lot of heavy bleeding, some women will opt for a hysterectomy and there's many different types of that, of those. And um, now we have the Sonata procedure, which is, is a wonderful opportunity for women to avoid surgery. Um, it's a uh, procedure where we go through the cervix after doing an ultrasound with a, a small device that goes through here. We're able to find the fibroids in the wall of the uterus, and it's especially great for the fibroids that are close to the surface and the lining here, so that uh, we can place a um, probes through the fibroids, use radio frequency ablation to heat the fibroid and destroy the blood supply, which helps to decrease the blood supply by as much as 50%. So this is a great option for women who uh, either haven't completed their childbearing or who have completed their childbearing but would opt to not have um, surgery with an abdominal incision. So there's just many different options for treating fibroids and those are the kinds of things we want you to come in and talk to us about so we can get the right treatment for you.